What's going on, guys? This is your boy Kid Twist. What's up to the YTBC? Welcome to the House of Entertainment. Got a little Marquez Pacquiao too. Um, I just want to do this other little quick video, man. Um, pretty much, I want to talk about the Mayweather Canelo fight. Um, I wanted to do a little what sh the keys, kind of like a little shit that they do in HBO and in ESPN and. In Showtime, of course, I'm not going to sound as good as them, duh. I'm not a fucking boxing trainer or none of that shit. I'm just a motherfucker who likes boxing. That's it, okay? So if you guys think highly of me, well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, but don't expect me to... Of course, I have my knowledge of boxing. Yes, I know about boxing, but don't expect me to, like, fucking sound like one of those fucking mother... One of those guys, because those guys get paid for that, you know? Anyways... It's called The Keys to Victory, Mayweather Canelo. All right, uh, for Mayweather, why would I, what, what do I expect from Mayweather? For Mayweather, I expect nothing. That's right, I said nothing. When I beat my nothing, I don't mean for him to stay in there and be like a mummy, but I mean for him not to change his game plan. Now, of course, I doubt he will. What, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Uh, you know, just keep being him. Um, resourceful, always having a, a an adjustment plan, A, B, and C, all the way down through Z, all the way, A, B, and Z, all the way to Z, Z, or whatever your English-speaking motherfuckers say. Um, of course, resourceful, always have a plan, be accurate, and be slick. Like I said, nothing, because he already does that, so what else does he need to do? He's good at that, what would he want to change? Now, for Canelo, what do I expect from Canelo? Of course, a lot of gas in the tank. <laughs> when I say a lot, I mean you better have the you better have the tank of a 747, buddy. A 747. That's right. Relentless, but at the same time smart. It's fast, slicks. <sighs> Fast, slick, um, and no breaks. Please, Canelo, don't sit there. Let's say you beat him all the way from the first round all the way to the sixth round. Don't go into the eighth round or the ninth round and just sit and lay against the ropes. Because it's not going to go into your advantage. It's not. It's not going to play into your advantage. So no breaks. Okay? Fight your fight. Of course, that is where any fighter when you fight your fight and make the other fighter uncomfortable, guess what? The other box, you gonna have the other boxer is gonna have to think and is gonna have to adjust. And as long as you keep him keep him adjusting, then you are fighting your fight and you are doing what you are supposed to do. Fight your fight, very important. Um, make Canelo make make Mayweather uncomfortable, of course. Got to make him uncomfortable. If you don't, if you don't make him uncomfortable, and you let him take his shots, Jesus, that was one-on-one -on -one boxing. Damn, I'll knock somebody out with that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, if you make him uncomfortable, if you make, if you don't make him uncomfortable, and you let him take one of them shots that he do, however he does it, the little boom and bing, bing, bang. If you, if you let him do that to you, man, then you are shit out of the lot, cause uh, he's gonna beat you. How he knows how to, he the best way he knows how. Always keep the job going to set up your fights. I mean, to set up your combos or to set up whatever it is that you want to set up. Have to keep that job going. Um, Oscar De La Hoya was, was doing a great job. He was keeping his job going. And then after the seventh round, that job went to New York somewhere. Because uh, I, I didn't see it. Uh, and, yeah, I pretty much covered this. But do not, lay, do not let Mayweather adjust. Because once he gets comfortable and he adjusts, He's going to be able to chase, beat your ass the whole night. So, that's my plan for, that's my keys for Mayweather and Canelo. I'm crazy to see this fight. I'm counting the fucking days. I mean, it's like, I feel like, you know, right now, when it comes down to this fight, I feel like I'm about to get, like, the best gift ever. Like, like if, like, if one long relative I didn't know about was coming to see me in, like, the next... 
within the next 30 days and he was going to bring me a fucking Ferrari. Like, that's how I feel about this fight, man. I'm anxious to see it. I really hope, you know, it's, it, build, it, it really builds up to the hype. It should. It, even if it don't, we still got a great uh, undercar or whatever. So, you know, I'm, I'm really anxious to see this fight. Again, those are my keys to victory. This is your boy Kid Twist. This is the House of Entertainment. Me voy.